going to show you how it's done. How it's done. How it's This is Bougie from KLIQ FM Radio, 1670 AM, or you can catch us at www4, the number 4, KLIQ.com. Today's guest is Shabadu Ozone, best known from the movie Spray Gap. He's been all over the world since that movie and those movies, and he's been doing a lot he's of stuff. directing now. He actually is doing a whole bunch of stuff. We're going to find out what is it that he has been doing all these years since Spray Gap. So we're going to sneak in here on set with Shabadoo where we've got full access backstage to see what they're going to be doing. The artist's name is The Groova. So let's go see what's happening. Rock straight clubbing, the designated spot, I'm hollering, pop, the splash, the wall, so duck out for the crash, y'all. You gotta feel me, the streets will heat, the plane will beat. Serving this big enough for platter, we're right out. I'm ready with my pen in, pockets is flat out. I see you on your head, I'm doing what the thing. So we're hanging out on the set with Shabadoo. How was the latest project? Well, this is called Like This. Uh, this is a single due to the release and it's not for self. Okay. Uh, his album is complete and uh, so we're on the set of music video. Okay. I had a couple questions for Shabadoo. Uh, a lot of people that know I'm going to do this interview, they want to know what I have to do and what can they see when they make this. Well, um, you've been a busy man. Yeah, I've been traveling the world and uh, giving workshops, massive workshops, uh, seminars, uh, giving the overall historic aspect of the uh, street dance uh, back from 1979, circa 1971, on Soul Train, the history with the lockers, and the, of course the films, like uh, dance films, the breaking, breaking terms, which were really, uh, I've been doing that, traveling and writing, uh, planning on making another breaking picture. Really? Yeah, I plan to do that. I've written this movie, by the way, and so we're moving ahead on that. And right now I'm working on a project uh, producing, and one of the leads of the picture is called Ring Zen. Ring Zen. The Ring Zen uh, is set to be shot in Dublin, Ireland, uh, London, and Amsterdam, and possibly some scenes in the U.S. Mm -hmm. So I've been doing that, but primarily focusing on my writing, focusing on my direction as a director. You know, I graduated from AFI, in case you don't know, just fans don't know, I graduated from AFI. I never really uh, capitalized on my degree or education, but um, I'm doing something else, so I'm, I'm pretty excited. Yeah, right, we're excited for you. Uh, the the, the Breaking movie, that's where a lot of us know you from. Mm -hmm. Most, you know, famous for. Uh, what made you decide to do uh, sort of another sequel or another one? Well, I think you know, my fans have been crying out for one. Uh, they've been crying for, we have. Right, for, for another <laughs> breaking film. Uh, and I think it's the, the time is right to kind of go back to the roots. I think, I think a lot of the history has been skewed and misrepresented in a lot of ways. And I think that in some aspects, the culture has lost its way. Okay. And, um, if the first film, Breaking, was about uh, recognition, about oh. this is who we are, I would say the Breaking 2 film was more about a fall from grace. I think we kind of lost ourselves. It, it got to be a little bit too Hollywood and too big picture feel. And this third Breaking film that I plan to make, I, um, I, I would call it a salvation, going back to who we really are, a, a real depiction. Street dancing has gotten to be real cartoony, you know, with these kinds of movies like Step Up or whatever, you know, running up buildings and dancing on Hummers and things. I mean, it's great for commercial, but it's not really who we really are. It's not representative of who we really are. Um, I'm not saying that the Step Up films that Michael Chu didn't do a great job. He did what he could, and he's certainly a successful franchise for them. But it's really not an accurate depiction of who we are. And it's remarkable to me you have these street dance films. You don't even have the originals in them. People who really started the culture that could lend a lot 
two years from, but they don't call on us, and, it, and it's, wow. it's sad, and it's a shame for them. So we're going to see you dancing in the new movie? Yeah, but it's really not about trying to reclaim or reestablish my, my position okay. in, in the history. It's about being, uh, it's about exposing new talent and exposing it from the inside out as opposed to Get a clip of that. Yeah. But Maya, Maya, working with the two guys, I thought, hey, I need to get in there. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It was my source of inspiration in that moment. Okay. Quick question. Yeah. Obviously, you're still good. Do you ever get to teach at I do yeah. teach all over the world. Yeah. All over the world. I give master workshops. I give master workshops, give seminars, motivational speaking. Great. Uh, I plan to be back in, uh, I plan to be back in, uh, uh, we know in London and during uh, July. Oh, that's good. That's good. Why are you doing this connection? All right, back to work. He's a busy man. He does all kind of stuff. He has not slowed down, has no intentions of it. Let's see what he does next. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. 
Stay in there. You gotta keep your mark. See where you're at? After you give yourself five, you go right back to the top again. Step. So, what is it a break there? You give yourself five and, and you go right back to the top again. That's the loop point. You're gonna keep the loop point. Represent and go way back. History's way back. We way for, back. We forever tied together. Forever. We even talked about having twin tombstones. Wow. <laughs> Your headstones, you know. Yeah. Whoever go first got to leave space for the other one. And we're saying, it's going to say, we own the haters. We own the haters. Own that. Still. On the yeah. West Coast. We own that. Roco. Roco. That's why I respect. Respect. In the world. We own the haters in the world. Wait, oh, everybody. Oh, okay. I seen this cat. I'm too, man. What's up? Wow. Me, I showed up. Wow. Exactly. Show up for nobody. Hey, you know what? I'm like, Tito, where's my tissue? <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand what this means. You know? We did this. It was a lot. Crazy. Yeah, it was a lot. You know, we, you know, we hopefully we'll capture just a tenth of the magic we did together. Oh, yeah. You got it. Yeah. You get the right shot. You throw them in post. Now we got after face. Right. Good. Yeah. Okay. This was awesome. We're all done. Thank you, Chef. Yeah. And I, I, I can't thank you enough. This was really awesome. You guys, stop. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. Yeah, you want to. Action. Okay, we're all done on the set here with Ruva and Shab. I want to tell them both thank you so much. And I did want to ask a quick question of Ruva. What does Shab mean to you? What does this mean to you that he's doing this for you? Well, I want the whole world to know, and this is coming from my heart, this is a dream come true for me, and to let everybody out there know who's watching, dreams do come true, don't give up, even if your role model idol is hard on you, but it's all, <laughs> but it's, but it's all good, but he's like a mentor to me, and uh, that's why you see me doing what we're doing, we just made history today. So that's what it is to Alright. So I want to ask Chad, Dr. Shane, thank you again. What do you want to tell the young people right now that are coming up dancing and, and like them on set, but in order for you to love what you do, you have to love yourself. And dancing is not an external um, activity. It's, it's an internal thing. I want to tell all you kids out there to do what you want to do that's healthy and positive. Um, you're going to meet people along the way. They're going to people, be people who love you and tell you that you can't do something. Don't listen to them. Follow your heart, your dream. Follow it all the way through to the end. I, I'm speaking from, from experience. I have and continue to struggle through things my, myself. I'm still a work in progress. I'm just thankful that, that I'm here, I'm alive, and doing what I, I love to do. And hopefully God would allow me, or life will allow me to continue to do the things I love. Um, right now, all you kids out there, you're listening to King LIQ Radio. Mm -hmm. Follow your dreams, tune in, check it out, and I'll see you on the set. Right. Hey, get, the, get the CD, <laughs> like this. Don't pick out the video, it's going to be live. Peace. Thank you, Sonia. Thank you, Chef. All right. All right. I say what I'm about to tell you right now. Because sometimes when you're doing these kinds of projects, when the budgets are, are you know, in control, things get lost in translation. Things get lost in the cracks. And I don't want this lost. I appreciate you. I love you. I'm so happy you're donating your talent you coming down here and doing everything that you're doing today. I couldn't do it without you. 
During the course of this day, it may not, it's not finished yet, I might stumble. I may be imperfect as I am. I may say something that will hurt your feelings. If I do, please tell me immediately I am not above an apology. I'm so wrong when I'm wrong. Remember that. I fall hard. I fall big. We are doing tremendous work. In the beginning, I ain't gonna lie to you, I was squeezing my butt cheeks together to turn coal to diamonds. I was scared. But now, I am myself with you. <laughs> and, 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 and you guys have, have showed me that you guys can eat up a clock. I would say no one can master time, but you son of a bitches figured it out. I'll be goddamn. You know, what you guys are able to do in a short amount of time is amazing. You're amazing. I'm so lucky. Um, big ups to the whole crew. Everybody was professional and friendly and just fun to work with. Uh, you know, his natural name is Adolfo. And I said, hey, you know, what do I call you? Shabadoo, Shabadoo. Is the only name call me? Shab is cool. So, look, we had a good time with Shab. <laughs> and he looked great, ladies. What's up with that? Not gonna give his age. Not gonna give my age either. But didn't he look great? Big ups. This was so fun. Peace. Surprise, fools!